This is it. We're approaching the finale. The Forbidden Corridor. Stop Snape from stealing the Philosopher's Stone. Find two chocolate frogs, one safe game book, one secret wizard card, and encounter one huge three-headed enemy. Hermione, Ron and Harry researched the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Philosopher's Stone. It was the Philosopher's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Philosopher's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night! Let's go! What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances, then. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go! No, I don't want to go. I want to get out. I want to get out. Let me out. Ah. <laughs> Hello and welcome everyone to Let's Play Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This is August 115 speaking and whose bright idea was it to close our only escape route behind us? I truly do not know. I'm gonna put the blame on Hermione. She seemed like she knows exactly what she's doing. Happy 23rd December everyone. Now tomorrow is the best day of the year. Well, that's not true. For some countries you celebrate Christmas on 25th, not 24th. And uh, yeah. Others don't celebrate Christmas as whole, well, but maybe Hanukkah, Ramadan, other holidays. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic time. And that uh, whilst I'm looking specifically for Christmas, these videos help you cozy up to your holiday, whatever it might be. Or in case you're not even celebrating a holiday, just having a lovely end to the year. And there we go. We have, my friends, collected the final Witches and Wizards card. Roderick Plumpton, if I'm not mistaken. Now this guy... Roderick Plumpton, 1889 to 1987. Seeker for England Quidditch team. Holds British record for fastest capture of snitch during game. Three and a half seconds. I'm curious if maybe we've beaten his record when we played the first match against Slytherin. I'm gonna go back, check and put the result on the screen. I, we need to know the truth. We need to know if we were better than Roderick Plumpton. We probably were not. It probably took us more than five seconds, but still I want to see how close we got. <laughs> so all that remains is the final card. Now we have the beans, we have the cards, we have the attitude, we have the power. All we need is to defeat he who must not be named. But why? I thought we were, uh, we're trying to stop Snape, you know? Anywho, let's take our final item here, the save game book. There we go. And just in case you get lost in this linear corridor, you get a helpful reminder. This way, Harry! See? Oh, I'm so glad you told me, Ron. I, I would have gotten lost. I mean, just looks completely different, one end to the other. And this is where we'll put our flute that we got from Hagrid to practice. I think this is where the growling has been coming from. No, that's just me. You hear that? That's my stomach. I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape! Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. Oof. Only Hagrid could have this one to Fluffy. I'll try the flute. That might put Fluffy to sleep for a while. Harry's 11th line. <laughs> okay. So, when I was a kid, I was absolutely terrified of dogs, and this might be why. To this day, I'm just uneasy when I'm next to dogs. I'm always expecting the wolf instincts to take over and they're jumping at my throat. Could be fluffy is the reason. Now, you cannot cast spells, you cannot even jump, and if you look back and press forward, 
Harry will move back and the other way around, which is odd. So um, all we can do here is play the flute via the casting key, whether that's left mouse button or the alt key on your keyboard. Unfortunately, if we're away from Fluffy, Harry essentially plays like I play on the guitar after seven years. It's terrible. You need to get closer fl Fluffy's ears to pick up on it, and it's turning into a beautiful melody. Now, there are three different heads, and each takes a different amount of time to put to sleep. There's the one that takes the longest, and then there's sort of the medium one. Now, I'm not entirely sure which one of these two takes longer. Let's put the middle one to sleep, because they take exactly the same amu whoa, amount of time to awake. So we need to start with the one that takes longest, move on to the middle one, avoiding bites ideally, and then to the fastest awakening one, but it's also the one that's fastest to put to sleep. When you see them opening their mouth, you need to move back, otherwise you're gonna get bitten. And that's it. Oh, now he's cute. You want to go first, Hermione? No, I don't. Right, see you in a minute. I hope. Nice knowing you, Ron. It's okay! It's a soft landing! You can jump! Come on, Harry! The Devil's Snare. Stop Snape from stealing the Philosopher's Stone. Encounter seven enemies. Two that will trap our friends, five that will try to kill us. Watch out. I know what this is. It's the Devil's Snare. Next time I'm going to pay more attention in Herbology. Help! It's a Devil's Snare! Try not to get too close to those tent incendiaries. Yep, Ron. I I'm going to stop you right there. Let me do my magic, okay? You're not helping. Okay. Now, fortunately, you cannot aim freely. You can only sidestep, and that determines the target that Harry will choose, which is tricky if you never want to get hit. Okay, Ron is free, not that he deserves it, but Doofus. Oh, oh, no. Stay away, stay away. Oof. Oh, there we go. No damage taken. Nice. Thanks, Harry. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. I'm starting to get the feeling my name might be Harry, but I'm not sure. Will you guys let me know? That's it, we're halfway through. The Winked Keys. Catch the Winked Key. Watch out for five swarms of enemies that will pursue you relentlessly. Ah, my favorite challenge. Here we go. You have to catch the key, Harry. Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. Oh, watch ah. and learn. Good luck, Harry. Now, there's no hitting our friends and then making ouch sounds or anything like that, unfortunately. Now, there are five swarms of these smaller winked keys, and I'm gonna do my absolute best to avoid them because, as I said, I don't wanna take any damage. It's an arbitrary challenge I created for myself, which is gonna make this leagues more difficult. But what can you do? Especially since these things have a habit <clears throat> of getting in the way. So close, no, I have to repeat this. Goes to practice. Up. Now's our chance. Good luck, Harry. Okay, this time no damage taken. Now I believe the winged swarms of keys move at around the same pattern, just like the one we want to catch that we're after does. So I think I'm always gonna hit unless I get out of the way in that one specific point. Okay. Oh, or we do. Just take it from the other side. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about this result. Well done, Harry. Let's see where this leads. Probably because we didn't try to hit our friends with a broomstick this time, it worked. <laughs> Let's see what's next. Oh, you could have flew in with the broom, like in the movie. That'd be so cool. Oh, well. The chess game. Defeat the giant chess pieces. Find one save game book and destroy eight enemies. I do hope you're not expecting an actual game of chess.
The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. Ron's gone through to play. I hope he's all right. Yeah, knowing Ron, he probably isn't the doofus. Now, there is a save game book over here, but I would recommend you first going through cutscene and then returning back here and saving the game, just so you don't have to rewatch the cutscene each time you want to try this challenge over and over and over, because it takes a while to figure out for the first time. But if you want to watch the guide, then feel free to stick around, save, and do essentially how I do it, or figure out your own way. But what I'm going to show you is my favorite one. Oh, Ron, are you all right? I've defeated most of the pieces, but I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. <sighs> Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. Thank you, I will be. Now, if you bump into Hermione again, she'll just repeat, walk onto the board, nothing new. Ron has nothing to say. And if you haven't already, after the cutscene, I recommend picking up the save game book, because you will then not have to rewatch the cutscene every single time you reload, in case you do want to take a stab at figuring this puzzle out on your own. It's a lot of fun, I recommend doing it. Only problem I have with this puzzle is that it has absolutely nothing to do with chess except for its set dressing, which, if you know, even the basic rules of chess can be incredibly misleading. So let me explain it. The whole point is that Harry and all the other pieces, doesn't matter if black or white, take turns in terms of moving on the board. Now, you as Harry choose one square to move, whether directly or diagonally. The pieces do as well. But the pieces determine which way to move based on where Harry is because they want to get to you as soon as possible and absolutely crush you into bloody bits, which is horrifying to think about. I mean, Harry, you are one brave guy. So the point is, you need to lure two or more pieces to try and step into the same square so that they fight each other and then both of them get destroyed. It's not one piece taking over the other like chess. No, in this case, no matter what the piece pieces, whether it's a tower or um, or a foot soldier, sorry, I forgot what these guys are called in chess in English, or if it's a bishop, or if it's, I believe these are two queens, not actually kings, um, the pawn, sorry, not squire, the pawn, um, foot soldier, <laughs> close enough. Uh, so it doesn't matter what function they serve in chess, not even what color there are, Huh, this is a cool social commentary. All that matters is that they want to kill Harry, okay? So, I would recommend taking the first step on the white place over here. And now observe, two pieces try to move towards Harry on the same square. They bash each other and both get destroyed. And that's the puzzle. Before they move towards Harry to be able to kill him and finish him off, you need to lure all the pieces to group together into tiny group as much as possible. Now here you have this sort of odd selector which looks like a square crown i never understood it it's the same movement as before i don't know why they did this and move marker with arrows this didn't make sense to me even back in the original control scheme so you cannot cast you cannot jump and you cannot go back instead let's take one daring step forward which might seem counterproductive but it means we are still in a straight line and keep clustering all the pieces as closely together as possible. This is actually the trick to the whole puzzle, is to stay and move forward towards them at least once. Now these two queens will destroy one another. And bishops, the tower and also the pawn are closer than ever before. Now the problem with moving one square forward is that the black bishop would absolutely slaughter us. So, instead, let's move here. We are very close, aren't we? Okay, now both White Tower and Black Bishop move diagonally, but essentially all you can do at this point is move to this space, meaning the tower will want to step here, but also the Black Bishop. And we have won, and somehow we are even closer to the door than we've ever been. I don't know, I find this way extremely satisfying. 
So my friends, the moment I take this step and Hermione will congratulate us, that's gonna be it for today's episode. The final episode will be released tomorrow on Christmas Day or whatever it is you're celebrating on December 24th and I hope you will enjoy it. We actually have one more challenge to do before the final showdown with Snape? Question mark. However, that one challenge is contained in the same level as is the final showdown and I don't want to split the levels. I want to maintain the original developer's vision. So this is sort of final self-contained challenge and we will be reaching the gauntlet of all these challenges uh, tomorrow. For now, let's enjoy the sweet victory of whatever the hell we would call this puzzle that looks like chess. <laughs> and there we go, we've done it. And I will see you tomorrow. Come on, let's go. Not much of a congratulations, is it? We was too late. The Reverend Luke saw the light.